Folks, welcome back. Hello, hello. I hope you're all doing well. Well, today, we continue our Fallout London playthrough. And, uh, well, as you know, last time we had to unfortunately turn off survival mode because we were making zero progress, basically. The only things we could really kill were our little bugs. Anytime we encountered a human, we were screwed. Um, yeah, wasn't that great. And honestly, that's fine. I think it's fine. Because it, it felt like the enemies were really bullet spongy compared to us who died in literally like one guy hitting us with a like wooden Plank, I think, killed us at one time, and uh, that wasn't great. But anyway, we're going back into Fallout London, this time in hard, not survival. So that's fine, because here we are, back in the game. Hello, hello. This time I decided to have it started before we uh, began here. And like I said before, we're going to check out this plane crash, which I highly doubt is going to have anything in it, because it's Purdue. We, uh... Look at them. And if we follow the debris field, there's still like nothing there, so that's fine. But anyway, we'll just continue down this road, question mark. I guess we might as well. We can just kind of go down here, turn left, turn left again. We'll do all that. Although I am curious, there is a, uh, a light on in this. I don't know why I, I, I'm taking food because I'm still in survival mode, but I don't need food anymore. Wow, that bobby pin box had one bobby pin in it. That sucks. Keep going. You know what, actually, since we're not in the middle of, like, dialogue or anything... Welcome to the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, and I'll be presenting you with some delightful classical music from our storied vaults. Join me, won't you? There is nothing more infectious than a poker, but luckily, you need not quarantine from exposure to culture. Up next is Smetana's Three Pokers de Salon. The nice thing about classical music is that it was all written like decades ago, so, well, over a hundred years ago for the most part, so it can't get copyright struck. Yeah. Although, there are some people who will be like, I did a rendition of this and therefore it is mine, and therefore you cannot use it in your videos. Hmm. Which is stupid. I actually had someone do that to me before. Some, like, modern pianist went and, uh, copyright striked one of my videos because it was, like, a classical song playing, and it was like, <laughs> uh, no. First of all, if you listen to your rendition, it has more modern sounds added to it as well. Mine is the classic original. We get wrecked. Mm. You suppose I can, like, get over there? The answer's yes. <laughs> get out. Okay. I just wanted to get the marker. Because, uh, yeah. Alright. What else can we do here? Let's get Slayer. So we can attack faster. Ah! <laughs> Not too noticeable at the moment, but... Good enough for now. I guess we're gonna go this way. That was Bedrick Smetana's Three Polkas de Salon, Opus 7. The following was requested by Constance Whitemar from Eastminster, 
who yearns for a swim. Constance, why not take a trip to our wonderful seaside? Until then, here is Claude Debussy's Jou de Vague. Want some of this? Woo! A broken gas mask. Huh? Well, it's stronger than what I got now. So. Which is to say, nothing. But. Yes. So our. Raider is just called hooligans. Someone there. Is that a slab of meat? And I can't pick it up. No one's here. Hey, who's right. there? You're mine now. Am I? Am I always mistake. Are y'all just melee equipped? Like that's excellent for me. Seems I can do this. You first, and then you. Let's go. Excellent. What's that glowing thing in the background? A box cutter, huh? Did I not have a right leg before? Hmm, not have. Looks like I can just drop this uh, surgical mask. Keep the bowler hat, it's cheap. Or it's lightweight, you know. Let's just sell it. I think that green light's a little bit far away at the moment. Is there a shotgun somewhere? They have shotgun shells, and they were like shooting stuff off, but they didn't come out with a shotgun. Kind of funny, isn't it? Advanced. Oh. Rib cage and a spine. Okay. Is that a blood bag right there. Nice. Definitely Raiders. Armor workbench, huh? Can I actually do anything here, though? I can, sort of. I'll increase the weight by a lot if I do that, though. Hmm. Ooh, I can go ultra lightweight build, which it requires nothing. Let's do it then. Do maybe I had like a mod for an ultra lightweight build and I just didn't realize it? Yeah, I don't have anything else I can modify right now, so fine. Most of all, my loot is uh, back at another place. What about up here? This 
said to unlock empty when I tried to unlock it. I think it was supposed to say the actual difficulty instead, but... Ah, oh, come on. A little less, a little more. There we go. How do I wait again? Why do I be sitting? I have to be sitting right. The Elder Scrolls where you can just like wait out in the open without... I'm trying to make it day because... Let's be honest, night, you can't see anything. It sucks. Does it not? We're gonna continue south until we hit the next T intersection, then we're gonna turn left. After we search this building, maybe? Given the symbol here. Ooh, it's a pub. Maybe it's a place I can sell stuff to? That'd be nice. Once again, Debussy's Jus de Vague from his popular La Mer composition. I hear turrets. Incidentally, I, uh, In 1836, changed the noise gate. This, Chopin's closest work to genius. Chopin? I agree with him. And now, here is ballad number one in G minor, oh, opus 23. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I adjusted my, uh, OBS settings, the noise gate on my microphone down a little bit, uh, because I think some things were getting cut off, but I may have done it too far now, and now you can hear my shift key getting tapped. It's a little looser than the other ones. I don't know if you can hear my, like, clicks as well. <laughs> Looks like no. Ooh. Three of three. That is an odd caliber, is it not? Yep, for it. Like I thought. Is it hostile though? I think it's hostile. Here, it can't hit me. Actually, can I crouch down and, like, once again over here? There we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> right. Ah, I explode. Energy weapons coaster. Oh my god, you can collect coasters. They're coasters in this game. Instead of magazines or bobbleheads, what are they? I'm assuming these would be... Critical damage with energy weapons, which we're probably never going to use unless we find an energy melee weapon. A double barrel shotgun. Ooh, we're never going to use it. Okay, can I get off this, please? Did I trap myself on top of this now? Okay. Toggle collision. This is why you, uh... Oh, hey, lady. I didn't even see you there. Anyway, this is why you... 
make sure that you have the ability to cheat in games sometimes. If you don't, well, sometimes you would just have to die. Hooligan Charm. Judging by the names of these, um, they screwed up and the turrets killed them. I had to hazard a guess. Where's my current right leg? Hooligan one? I might as well just put that on so flat out better. I gotta check for coasters. Hold on. I mean, I would assume there wouldn't be multiple in the same area, right? That just wouldn't make sense, right? But you never know. Okay. We're good. Messing with scammers, dating apps. I found a couple of dating apps that are like only people I've ever talked to have been 100% scammers, and it, it's just so funny that they follow like pretty much exact same script no matter who it is, and they always ask you to go to like a second site, like a like Telegram or like Snapchat, that kind of stuff, right? And it always ends up them being like, oh yeah, my birthday's next week, are you gonna get me something? Or like, hey, I need gas money to come visit you, can you send me some? Or like, sometimes they'll be like, yeah, I wanna hook up with you, do you like wanna come over? And then, then if you say yes, they're like, oh, but I have my son or my nephew is here, can you send me a Steam gift card so I can get them a game to distract them while we hook up because I don't want them to know that you're here or some nonsense like that. Hilarious. Long story short, ladies and gentlemen, if you are ever in a dating app situation and you're talking to someone and they are uh, wanting you to give them money when you have never met, don't do it. All there is to it. You just don't give someone that you've never met. With. Honestly, you shouldn't even give people you know money. To be honest. Just, uh, just don't do that. Let's see. A sentence for unhappiness, actually. Have I gotten that door mark? No, not that one. I'll touch it. Free experience, baby! Unless I can, like, turn it on by hitting this. I go to Latin. Oh, it doesn't say Latin. It says Lewish Ham. I don't know why I said Latin. Anyway, now that we have that, we go. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious, the things that they'll try to do to get you to spend money on them. They're like, oh, my car's out of gas, so I can't come to visit you now. Can you give me money? And like, they'll act like, okay, I'm on my way now. They'll say in a text, then they'll wait a couple of minutes. It's funny, because they'll like wait just like a couple minutes and be like, oh no, I'm out of gas. Can you give me some money? I had one actually send me a picture of uh, a car. 
car's interior and it showed the gas was like almost on E, which was just hilarious. That's like, wow, a little bit of dedication there. But, yeah. It's also really easy to tell which ones are scammers because if you take any pictures that they send you or have on their profile and then you look them up online um, by doing like a reverse image search, there are sites out for it. Google sucks for doing it now because Google um, took away the ability to like reverse image search people easily. You can still do it, but the results aren't great anymore. So there are still other websites to try it on. If you reverse image search, you'll find like dozens of uh, um, results for that picture on you know, other websites or whatnot. What they like to do is uh, frequently. I like the Northern Lights or what? Anyway, what they'll do frequently is they will um, use pictures from like a, an Instagram girl or like a, an OnlyFans girl. Someone who has, you know, their pictures freely available online. Um, and they'll do that because, well, one, it's free. Two, the women are usually attractive. And, uh, yeah, that's how they get you. If you hang around, would not none. We need the numbers. Y'all not hear that gunfire? I think I need to go around to the front, though. But, yeah. If you do do online dating or dating apps, be careful. And also, when you're in the, uh, app stores, look at the watchdog reviews. Frederick Chopin's